today I'm sorry you guys, it was a beautiful day this morning and I spent this morning ripping the mud flaps off and tightening things down and torquing things and now that I'm ready to film, we got lawnmowers going, we got wind going, it's, this is the way of life. And yes, today is 2.40 Tuesday. I'm sorry, unfortunately, we are not gonna have a 2.40 Tuesday. Today is, uh, I don't know what to call it. You guys, you want content? You get content, it's just BRZ content instead of 2.40 content. If you're mad, blame Emerson, he went away for the weekend. Also, thank you guys very much for all your participation in the last two videos. I was asking you guys what kind of car you'd wanna see as a budget build, and uh, a lot of, oh, this guy's gonna back that tree right up into his house. Yep, yep, there it is, all right. So yeah, a lot of you guys participated, a lot of you guys commented, told me what kind of car I should do, and uh, there was a lot of diversity. I didn't expect it to be so broad, but you guys spoke, and I heard you, and uh, there is there is a car that seems to stand out more than the rest, so if you're curious, you gotta go check the comments. If not, just hang tight, and uh, we're gonna... We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Anyways, aside from all of that, today what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be washing the car. So, today I'm gonna show you guys the number one and only method there is to washing your car without scratches and swirls. There's no such thing. You guys have probably seen the like millions of videos on the best way to wash your car and how to do... Everybody just kinda washes their car their own way. I'm gonna show you guys how I wash my car. I think my car, you know, looks pretty good when it's not covered in dust. There's no scratches, there's no swirls. Actually, that's a lie. There is, but they're from the dealership, not me, because the dealership had it in the showroom, and they uh, did a number on it. If you're looking for an interior cleaning video, I did do one of those, like, a year ago. So, get your cringe face on, go watch it. If you're just looking for an outside wash, we're gonna do that right now. Why, why, why? I know we just did a car wash video, but this video is more just like showing you guys how I wash the car. The last one was just testing products. There's a couple things you're gonna need. I just use a one bucket method, and what I do is if I'm washing the car, I start on the top, go down, that way all the dirt comes down. And then when I'm on the glove, if there's a bunch of dirt on there, I just rinse it off with the hose instead of dumping it into a second bucket. And sometimes if the bucket gets really, really dirty, you can just dump it out and replace all the soap and water in there depending on how bad it gets. But this thing, this is this is your, your best friend right here. You need to get one of these guys with the little tassels all over it. I think these are the best car washing mitts there is. Next thing, I have a second little mitt. This one's not as good, but I use this one for the wheels. Now, depending on your wheel setup, you may need a brush. You may need one of those little wheel thingies that goes in and out of the spokes. My wheels are, are open enough that I can just do it with my hands. And I, with your hands, I personally feel like I get a little bit of a deeper clean than just with the brush. But if you don't have that, then just get yourself a little wheel brush and stick it in, you'll be fine. I have one of these chamois things. Come on. We're trying to show the people here. I have one of these chamois from Walmart. These are like the best inventions ever. Uh, I like using these as opposed to like a big drying rag because these soak up so much water and they're so easy to wring out and just keep going with. So these are my choice for drying. If you don't have one of these though, if you just have one of those big towel drying things, they work perfectly fine too. Then I have two microfibers. One is for drying the wheels themselves because I don't like to use this because the wheels are generally got a little bit more dirt and stuff left in them. Uh, so I use one to dry the wheels, and then another one I just use for like putting on tire shine and stuff like that. So first things first, I just start up top, just kind of wash the whole car, just a little pre- What is going on today with you? You gonna be okay? All right, there we go. Anyways, just give it a little pre-soak. Doesn't really matter how you pre-soak it, but just make sure everything gets a little moist. As far as soap goes, I'm just using Fitment Industries Vehicle Wash. You guys saw this in a video I did not too long ago. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll post it up right right here. It's just a review of their products, but they're going to be the products I'm using today. They're the products I'm probably going to be using for a while because they're, they're good stuff. Like I said, I started at the top of the car and I washed my way down. Reason being is that usually the heavier dirt and stuff is on the bottom where your wheels are. So if you start up here, wash your way down. One, as the water goes down, it kind of takes some of that away. And two, if you pick up something big that'll like scratch your paint down there, you're gonna drag it around the rest of the car if you do down first. So I usually start up top where it's nice and light and simple and just slowly wash my way down.
And so the sun actually did end up coming out. So you guys saw how once I wash a place, I wash it, rinse it, and then move on to the next one just to keep the suds from drying on the car. And once I'm done everything else, I come over here to the wheels. I get my wheel mitt, get it nice and soapy. And like I said, this is a spot where you can use, if you have the brush, you can use the brush. I just like the effect of rubbing it with my hands a little bit better. And I just start on the tire, rub the whole tire, and then work my way in on the wheels. I just kind of go in on every little groove and nook that there is here. And I, like I said, I feel like if you rub with your hands, I just, you get more of the dirt off. When you rub it with a brush, sometimes some of the dirt gets left on there because the brush, like the bristles just aren't good enough. You can reach in here and just clean your barrel. That's the one thing that people always mess up is they clean just the face of their wheels. And then you'll go to a car show and be like, damn, nice wheels. But you look in here and it's just gungy. So make sure you're always getting in here. Always clean your barrels because they just get nasty and that's no good. I don't think this is gonna need explaining, but once you're done, once everything's washed, once you're good to go, just just get your, your chamois, or if you don't have a chamois, get whatever else you do have. Make sure it's dry, dry the car. Before we get started with the next part, I'm just gonna say it out loud, that way you guys don't start hassling me in the comments. I choose to use this stuff and put it in my videos. It is not sponsored. So grab one of your microfibers. I just use one to dry the whole wheel and tire. And once you get everything dry, you're gonna wanna grab your tire shine. Now most people use tire shine. Most people use tire shine. Some people also use a wheel wax. Now the reason I would use a wheel wax is just so that when you have brake dust and build up and dirt and pollen and whatever on your wheels, when you wash it next time, it comes off a little bit easier. Not only that, but when it rains and stuff, it doesn't dry on your wheels the same. It's all preference, everything's preference, but that's the way that I do it. So we're gonna use both. So we're just gonna go ahead and, oh, I did not loosen that first, good job. Go ahead and spray on some tire shine. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I usually just spray both these on at the same time and just wipe them off together. And make sure obviously you get the stuff that's on the car because it just looks stupid if it dries on there. That is it, car is done. Look at the sun on here, and there is no little spots from the water or anything like that. Car looks pretty good. It's just a matter of keeping it wet. You only get the sunspots when it dries. So like if the water dries on the car, as long as you keep it wet, no sunspots. But that is it, no more bird poos, no more crap all over the car, no more pollen. We are finished, and like I told you guys, there is no specific proper way. I know this video is a little, might seem silly to some of you guys, but a lot of people when they first get a car, they don't wanna ruin it, right? So they Google it and they search up how to wash your car. So. That's how I wash my cars, that's how I've always washed my cars. I know it's only one bucket instead of two, but as long as you treat the glove properly um, and rinse it off if it gets dirt, wash from the top down, you get a fabulous turnout like this, you'll have no issues, and it'll be all good. So like I said, if you're looking now to do the inside of your car, there's already a video I made on that uh, like a year ago. Like I said, it's a little cringy. Go watch it anyways if you wanna see what you do on the inside. As far as outside, that is it, car's done. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope this helps some of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next week, I promise, we're gonna get 242 Tuesday back in action. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you next time. Peace out, and stay committed. Ooh.